what's good culture it's your boy franco and if this man polo g can't keep his girl from seeing it's pretty much rad so us regular dudes i mean we have one of the hottest rappers in our current generation dealing with the same bs a regular dude working a nine to five has to deal with that should tell you these girls really do not care so if you haven't heard his girlfriend slash baby mama crystal bleeds has allegedly been caught cheating by her gay best friend he exposed the messages and everything now i'm gonna tread lightly on this subject since this is a personal matter and it's kind of gossipy i'm just gonna focus on this is gonna affect polo G's career and its perception on his fans but I do have the light details for y'all and I'm gonna give it to y'all so let's get started so Crystal and her best friend had a falling out and her best friend just exposed a bunch of messages and details on IG and there's also a lot of personal attacks which I'm gonna leave out and just focus on the evidence of cheating now I'm not saying she is cheating this is just the evidence given to us online the first one is this Rob 100 guy I believe he was piping on Crystal from what I gather and he has a video of her in the car with him so I believe this is crystal but i could be wrong because the graphics look like a fucking ps1 game and you really can't tell who is who but leave a comment down below if you believe this is crystal or not also to further back my claim crystal's ex-best friend actually had a conversation with that rob guy in which rob says leave me out the situation which he actually put himself in this situation because we find out this nigga was the one who recorded the video so you put your hand in the cookie jar and then you record yourself taking the cookie out the cookie jar literally ignorance times 1000 but but as a man, I could understand the ego that you get from banging Polo G's baby mama or allegedly piping out his baby mama slash girlfriend. I could understand why you would want to do something like that. Do I think it's cool? No, but I understand. So the second piece of evidence is this person standing in this picture right here. So this house is allegedly Stacy, Polo G's mom's house, and she gave it to Polo G's baby mom, Crystal. Now, the dyke and Crystal are allegedly having intercourse. And if this is all true, this is extremely disrespectful on multiple levels, not only only that but this could actually hurt polo g's image and all crystal really had to say about this whole incident is just a couple tweets on twitter in which everything isn't really fully addressed but i'm gonna leave it at that i want to focus on polo g's image and career after the result of this so before i talk about how this could affect polo g's career i just want you guys to understand something that i got from academics twitch so rappers in this industry beef about women 24 7 whether it's in the public or it's behind closed doors all these rappers beef about girls because everyone in this industry Industry, specifically the rappers are rich they have all the same cars they have all the same clothes they have all the same jewelry so what's next what to compete with it's the girls what girl can i get that you can't get what girl and her friends can i get that you can't get that's what all these rappers compete with so women are the actual prize in this industry i know a lot of you guys think that these rappers are like hardcore and they don't sip about girls that's totally opposite man with that being said if other rappers are really keen on hip-hop news and found out that polo g's baby mama allegedly cheated on him with the dyke in a another dude and a dude who isn't even as clouded up as polo g she cheated on him with a regular dude you don't think that rapper is gonna look at him a little bit sideways whether they say it or not i believe that is the situation honestly because this industry is fueled on ego ego is what runs these rappers mind simple as that so they can't even fathom them losing a chick to a regular dude a regular nigga and a dyke come on bro it can't even cross their minds that's why if they were to look at polo g even though he's super hot right now they will look at him a certain type of way because you just look like a lame in front of their eyes at least that's what my theory is now if polo g was a regular dude and his girl cheated on him or something like that it would be more lenient but since he's in the public eye and he has this perception of greatness it's really an embarrassment to his career and image it's basically let me give you guys an example it's like michael jordan having his wife cheat on him with a regular dude or a dyke that's how it is i'm not saying polo g is on the same greatness level as michael jordan but that's what it looks like currently because he's one of the hottest in the game simple as that on to the next topic so everyone's talking about how the chicago police finally let the documents that show that king Von was the actual killer of ki and all i gotta say to this is first off god rest both of their souls and we've been knew this we knew this for years now if not a couple years honestly and i don't know why the police are just releasing it now after the incident with kts dre and all the bs that's going in chicago but i believe this is a poorly planned move and honestly throws dirt on king Von. but if you don't know the backstory between king Von and ki i'll give you the little scoop so ki was was basically the female assassin of Chirac. She had multiple bodies. She smoked multiple members of Old Block. And it's alleged she actually killed the person who's the name of Old Block, O.D. Perry. It's alleged, but I know for facts that she wasn't actually the trigger man because it was her first hit and she was scared. And I got this from a gang member, which I'm not going to expose too much, but yeah. And K.I. and King Von, they had a little flirtation ship. They would tweet at each other 24-7. They would flirt. King Von would try to mad her and stuff like that. But it was kind of in a sadistic way. It's 
as if they both knew they would kill each other when they were running into each other, but they both flirted online. Eventually, KI gave the drop on her location. King Von pulled up, smoked her, smoked three of her friends as well. I believe he smoked three of her friends as well, or it could have been other members who pulled up with them. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I know she got smoked that day, and that's pretty much how the story goes. Unfortunately, it is a sad cycle, but that's what happens when you get into the gang life. God rest both their souls, and that's really all I got to say about this, because I don't want to bring too much light on it. I believe it's Saints King Von's legacy. Even though he did live that life, he actually pertained in the musical life. He was on a positive road. With that being said, I'm out. Peace. Stay blessed. Deuces.